Welcome back, breaking news. Breaking news, we have a heat wave <laughs> again. So congratulations on your song Different. What inspired that song? I was actually in a relationship when I was writing this song. Um, and I think it was kind of when the relationship was slowly falling apart. Mm -hmm. And I think I realized that it just wasn't gonna work out anymore. Mm -hmm. But I felt horrible, like I had a pit in my stomach because right. you're not only just losing like a partner, like you're losing like a friend. Yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? So it's like, that's what sucks when you get into mm -hmm. a relationship, especially if it's like you're dating someone who already is your friend. Yeah. Or like they become one of your friends. Mm -hmm. Like now you're gonna lose two people. And then on top of that, there's sometimes those people surrounding the whole relationship. The there's friend group. Different, the fr not the friend group. The friend group. group. Not the friend uh, group. Mm -hmm. You talk about sending someone to the friend zone. How would you describe what the friend zone looks like? Like is a luxury. I feel like it? there's different levels of friend zone. There's like the no, like we're literally friends, borderline not mm. gonna be friends anymore. Then there's like, okay, I'm gonna friend zone you because I'm just not socially and not emotionally available yeah. right now. But when I am, mm. let's work on let's You're work like, this out. I'm here. I'm Do here some like you. toxic stuff like that. Yeah, you know? Exactly. But like there's different levels. There's I friends think. on like stop it. Stop. We're just stop. friends. Stop. <laughs> and then there's Stop No, it. seriously, You're stop. Disgusting. It's enough. Yeah. Oh! Ew! Dude! Have you ever been in the friend zone? I have. I've yeah. Yo, guys. Guys, I got my heart broken <gasps> so bad. No. I was in the eighth grade. Oh, I had no. such a crush on this guy. I asked him out every single day. Did every you have different ways of asking him out? Asking it was out? like I would call and I'd be like, please go out with me. Please. And his answer would be like, Literally stop. <laughs> so he was the one like, oh, stop. <laughs> Literally stop, you're disgusting. Oh no. <laughs> like, okay. But Literally, you guys were, were friends. We were best like, friends. Oh, no. We were really, really close friends. Yeah. And it broke my heart, but it's okay. Yeah. Forgiveness is key, y'all. Mm -hmm. We've grown. We've grown. We're healing. We're healing. Continuing we're to still heal healing. from that eighth grade drama. <laughs> from the eighth grade. Is there any possible way to escape the friend zone? That is the real question. That's what the people want to know. Let me in. Let me in. Just don't catch feels. Oof. Like I am, I really do a lot of self sabotage. The moment I'm smiling at my phone, I'm <laughs> yeah, like, no, exactly. that's the no. first sign. You're like, Dee. we're not. You know, when I mean, you yeah. just hear it ring, and you're like, it's not them. Mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, they, exactly. I was about to say that, that one. <gasps> mm -hmm. No, immediately like, no. We're not doing this. You're blocked immediately. That's how I escape mm -hmm. it because yeah. then it gives me no room for rejection. And who wants to be rejected? Who wants to be rejected? Yeah. Not me. Exactly. We're not even gonna go there. We're not trying to get there. Nope. So he recently worked with Banks and Ranks. How did you guys link up together to make uh, your recent track? We met each other through our like inner team. They're great guys, honestly, like older brothers for me, honestly. Um, when I actually wrote Something Better, mm -hmm. I had also written it this the day before Never Be Yours. Yeah. And literally, um, when I was playing Something Better, yeah. like in the in the big room, I broke down in tears. And Yannick from Banks and Ranks, mm -hmm. he like came up to me and gave me the biggest hug ever. Mm -hmm. And he's like, we got you. And I was like, no. Stop. The big brother energy. <laughs> yes, I love them. Yeah. They're amazing. Oh, I love so them. Sweet. They really know how to bring a vision to life. So okay. I respect them a lot and love them. So on your TikTok, you have this one spot where the acoustics are just Immaculate. <laughs> How did you find that spot? Or when did you first go there and was like, hey, let me just sing? You know what? I was actually on the way to the studio. And in order to get to the studio, I had to take the GO train. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how to take the GO train. I've never taken it before. So I like get to the GO train. I take the wrong train. Yeah. But I, um, before the train I'd got there, um, I'd went into like this, this room because it was winter time. There's like, they have like these little rooms where they have like heated like spaces. Oh, okay. And smart. there was no one there. And I was like, wait, what if I just did a little, a yeah. little song here? Like, huh? And then literally every time I went to the studio, I would like go to, those cubicles, but like there was like empty ones. So I'd yeah. go on the opposite side of the track because oh, okay. no one would no be there. there. And I would sing in there. Yeah. And that's how it happened. How long ago was that? I honestly think I started it this year, like okay. this year, last year. Yeah. yeah. And it's just become your thing. Now it's just my thing. Yeah. I, I even go there, even if I'm not going on the GO mm. train, I just oh. like walk in mm -hmm. and like record and like leave. How many times has someone walked in? 
Yo, a couple people have walked in. <laughs> do they say anything? What do they say? Yo, sometimes, because there's two doors on the, on the ends, yeah. so some of them will just, like, press the button on purpose and, like, just walk through the video, and oh. I just stand there awkwardly. Like, I'm obviously recording. Yeah. yeah, or, like, there was this, this old lady. I love her. Yeah. Um, and she, like, stood by the window and, like, waved at me while I was singing, and then she came in and was just like, you sound amazing. Aw, that's so sweet. Oh, I, I love, love old ladies. I love old ladies. I yeah. love them. What was has been the best part about posting on TikTok or having an audience there for your music? Honestly, I get a really good laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get a really good laugh. Honestly, I love what I do. So mm-hmm. if I could like laugh during the process too, I'd love that. Like it's emotional. Like yeah. wh- writing music and like showing it to the world is an emotional thing. It's very very scary. Right. So I learned to really enjoy the vulnerability right. throughout the whole process. Mm-hmm. I enjoy the the stories I've heard. A lot of people tell me like, "Oh, I can relate to this." Like that's mm-hmm. always very like heartwarming and very very special. So I really appreciate it. Shout out to you. That's crazy. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. you're going crazy on there. Thank you so, so much. Congratulations on that. Thank you. This was Sophia Camara at Much Music. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. You can now stream my new song, Different. It is out everywhere, so take a listen. And never be yours in something better, too. Love you.